Our big problem is that we have a finite budget and a highly productive <laughs> discovery group, and so we've got more a pipeline than we have budget. So trying to do things more efficiently, more predictably, is, is really important to us. So we've been driving a broad transformational change. A key component of that is using big data to help us uh, set up and design clinical trials. So the first step was to create a center of excellence. Uh, any team that's uh, designing a study, phase two and onwards, has to come through the center to, to sit down and design their study. The first element of big data that we have in the center is we have uh, detailed information about 34 million patients that participated in 18,000 clinical trials. So uh, all of the information from uh, recruitment, site performance, sits in that uh, database. We use predictive analytics to uh, model the study. We work out our geo strategy and then we can predict with a high degree of, uh, of confidence how the study is going to enroll, what it's going to cost, and what the challenges are. We're also using the typical payer uh, big data to inform those teams when they're sitting in the center about what their inclusion exclusion uh, funnel is going to do to uh, the, the funnel of patients that will be available for the study. Um, we tell them where the patients are using heat map technologies based on uh, postal codes, for instance. Um, we uh, use a variety of enrichment uh, strategies, uh, develop algorithms to tell um, teams what kind of patients are likely to respond, what kind of patients are likely to have side effects, uh, what are the patients who are going to have the endpoints that you're looking for, and how to enrich the study so that we can have fewer patients with more endpoints put in the kind of patients who are more likely to respond to the drug and less likely to have uh, side effects. And so at the end, uh, using uh, a variety of other techniques, we have a good idea of how long that study is going to take to run and what the results are going to look, look like. I always say that in phase three, you should pretty much be able to write down the results of the study before you start the study. Yeah, awesome. That must have saved an incredible amount of time and money being able to implement these tools. It's certainly generating big, uh, big savings for us. The problem with teams is that they frequently don't know what their design choices do to feasibility and to cost. And so when they're sitting in the mm. center, they get real-time information about what design choices do to the rate of enrollment, to the cost of the study, and to the way the study's going to turn out.